ever seen a ghost? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> when I was about yes. <laughs> when I was about uh, 18 years old uh, to take a driving license test, I went to a driving school with my classmates, and it was a summer vacation, so we went there every morning. One day, I noticed that my classmate didn't look so well, so I asked her, is everything all right? She said, not really, because in the past three days, she saw a ghost whose face was covered by a lot of blood, chasing her in a narrow alley. There's no way she could turn or hide, just a very long straight alley. And the ghost was so terrified, because uh, there's blood everywhere on its face, chasing her in her dream. Okay. And uh, uh, at that moment, I didn't know what the dream may mean. So I just suggested that uh, maybe you, you can go to a temple and we just say goodbye to each other after class. And on the next day, when I was on the way to the driving school, I saw a motorcycle on the ground and my classmate didn't appear. I couldn't get in touch with her. I was so worried because uh, her phone was switched off. But two days later, I got a message that she was killed in a car accident. What? When she was riding her motorcycle, there is a U-turn car in front of her. So she tried to move to the other lane. But unfortunately, she slipped on the ground. And there, were a, there was a big truck behind her. It was too fast, so the truck couldn't stop in time. So she was rolled over by the giant wheels of the truck. And before arriving at the hospital, she left us forever. I was so sad and uh, thinking that there must be some connections between the ghost in her dream and the car accident. So I tried to study something about this. And after a few years later, when I was studying in a university, I rent a room near my school. And I was a student who likes to ride my motorcycle at the high speed and enjoying the feeling that no one can be faster than me. <laughs> and, uh, until one day, there was a beautiful day. I also dreamed about a ghost. In my dream, the ghost ran very fast, uh, ran to me with something on its head, something metal, something silver. I thought it must be a knife. And of course, I was scared as well, so I started to run run away from it. But when I was running, I just think about something that I, I have learned something about our dreams. So I decided to stop and turn around and ask, is there anything you want to give me? <laughs> so suddenly the ghost didn't look terrifying anymore. The ghost just stopped and gave the thing on his hand to me. And I just noticed that it was not a knife. It was something metal, something silver. And I just woke up from confusion. I didn't know what the, the uh, dream means. But it was the day I had to come back from, from the school to my home. So I said it was a beautiful day. The sun was shining. The, fall, uh, the wind was warm and soft. And my engine was yelling. <laughs> As usual, I, I rode my motorcycle at a high speed. Enjoy the feeling that no one can pass me. <laughs> <laughs> And until I was near to a uh, horse uh, when, I, when I was uh, riding my motorcycle, there was a car suddenly turned left from the opposite side. So in a normal situation, I think I would try to switch to the other lane, try to avoid from bumping into it. But when I was preparing to do this, suddenly something came into my mind that I should go straight. So. I just, I didn't know why, but I just tried to break my motorcycle. But uh, I was too fast, so I couldn't stop in time as well. So I bumped into the car, and I fly in the air, and I drop down on its hood. But what was, what was amazing is that I almost didn't get hurt at, at all, even it was such a big hit. So when I just stood up on the ground, I noticed that there was a, a small truck just parked illegally on the, the other road. So if I try to go that way, I will bump into it. And maybe I will not have the chance to stand here and, and talk to you guys. So uh, do you know what I received from a ghost? It was something metal and silver like an arrow. And 
the, the color, the silver color is just exactly the, the same as the car that I bumped into. So what I've learned from this story that uh, sometimes when you dream of dream about something, it's sometimes it is your subconsciousness wants to communicate with you. And uh, psychologists say uh, subconsciousness is 40,000 times more powerful than our consciousness. And subconsciousness is our friend. So next time if you dream about something, even if it is scaring or terrifying, don't be afraid. Just, just be brave and ask, do you want to give me something? <laughs> no, matter, no matter what you receive, I believe you will get something. Yeah, me. Oh.